we're here with State Representative Harold Dutton of, of Houston, District 142, uh, an important member of the House, number three in seniority now. Right. So welcome to Red, White, and Blue. Well, thank you. Thank you. It's good Harold, to be back. Harold, let's talk about, uh, what's, we're mid-session. How are your priorities going? Things are going a little bit, yeah, I guess, all right. I mean, I've, I've been here long enough to know that you never get too excited about the highs and don't get too depressed about the lows. Uh, uh, your main, one of your main priorities is juvenile justice? Yes. What's going on there? Well, we, we passed the bill out of committee last week, uh, which raises the age at which juveniles can be um, charged with adult crimes from 17 to 18. State, Texas is, a, is one of four states that still does that, that still treats 17-year-olds as adults when it comes to criminal conduct. And I think juveniles who are 17... I mean, you and I both have had 17-year-olds, and, you know, uh, we shouldn't be holding them um, criminally responsible as adults, because I think 17-year-olds still haven't gotten that thing. And one of the things this legislature has done this session in the Senate, they just passed a bill to raise the age for smoking from 18 to 21. That's interesting. So yeah. she thinks maybe juveniles should be treated as, a, as young people a exactly. at that age. In fact, there are a number of states that are considering raising their, their juvenile age to 21 from 18. The theory behind why the age should go up is what? Well, actually, the law in Texas was passed 100 years ago oh. in 1919, making juveniles at 17 uh, eligible for adult crimes. Uh, and so this is one of the laws we haven't passed in a long time. We just have simply done nothing about it. Um, but the fact that most states, 50, you know, 46 states don't do what we do. That is hold juveniles at 17 responsible as adults. All right, the other, the other big issue taking up the oxygen during the session is property tax relief yes. and school finance. Well, school finance, we passed. We passed it in the House. We put $9 billion more into public education. One of the things we've been hearing for a long time was that Texas was not living up to its uh, objectives of putting more money into public education. This session, we have put $9 billion on the House side so that we expand, we raise the basic allotment to um, $6,000 per student so that so that somehow or another, uh, for, for example, in, in Houston ISD, uh, they save about $260 million on the recapture portion uh, simply because we raised the basic allotment. Yeah, now, recapture being Robin Hood. Yes, the Robin Hood. The perennial part. problem with Absolutely. how we finance schools. And so we think that's reduced in um, HISD down to about, you know, probably $30 million. Which is affordable. Which is, which is certainly a lot better than what they had. All right, how about property tax relief? Well, is there's it coming? A, the, is it ever the coming? Senate, the, Senate, well, the deal was that we would pass school finance if they would pass, the Senate would pass property tax relief. On yesterday, the Senate passed property tax relief, which caps property taxes at 2.5%, at um, the revenue from them. Um, and we're going to have a little debate about that in the House. Because I think what we've heard from most of the municipal governments is that it really hamstrings those governments to have it at two and a half percent, particularly if you don't carve out exceptions for fire and police and safety responses. I mean, that's something we ought to take a real hard look at. Um, I, you know, it's hard to it's hard to vote against property tax relief because you do hear from people that property taxes seem to be escalating. But when you pass a bill and it says that if you own a $200,000 house, you're going to save $200. Not much. Not well, much. Well, thank you so much for your time, no, Representative thank you. Dutton. Thank you keep for being up, here. Keep up the good work. Thank you, and thank you for being here always.